So um, I got a comment um, that I'm going to respond to in the big comment answer thing. But someone asked if I really put chat books out every month. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about that while I'm printing out the new chat book. What the fuck is happening? Artwork by me. I'm going to go ahead and fold it. Just so I can. And here we go. This is the problem. Nice. 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 Some of you may notice real quick. That this has yellow ink on it. This is the first chapbook I have done outside of weird mass stuff that has had ink on the cover. Are we already starting again, guys? We are. The color that got really fucked up in my printer was the blue. I mean, not the blue, the pink, the magenta. That was the first one to go. Then for whatever reason oh wow that just like ripped the cover and then for whatever reason every time i would start using blue the ink cartridge would just kind of explode all over the place so much so that even when i wasn't using blue a lot of times it had like poured on pages oh is, are they gonna I fear that there's going to be a bit of an ink mess on this one. The pink and the blue have gone to shit a bunch of times. And then I was like looking through like my art pieces and I'm like, oh, can I use yellow on my printer? And I hadn't used color in so long that I didn't even know if I was going to be able to do it. And um, I'm like... Sure as shit. And here we are. I just, I, I'm so shocked. I haven't done anything with color in so fucking long. And now that I'm almost completely done making chat books at home, as you can hear from my printer, it's kind of cool. Like, I, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that came out cool. It makes me want to see what else I could do. I did find nine pages of a really pastel cardstock. I might put together another book just to use that. I have a bit of the cardstock left from uh, Coldest Beer in the Desert, the kind I used for that. So I might put something together with that. And then I still have a lot of red and a lot of orange because I had to buy like a 500 page ream when I got that. But the other thing I wanted to talk about with this book, it's 17 poems, 32 pages, and the poems were written either in March of 2023 or March of 2024. So it's kind of interesting to see how I was at the tail end of a dying relationship to the beginning of me actually feeling better that my relationship ended. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's an interesting dichotomy, if you will. The question that that guy asked, do I really make a chat book every month? When I first started making chat books, this was, this was my first poetry chapbook and does it have anything more than that no this i wrote in december 2017 and then i think i put it out in january so then this one the exhausted bird i wrote and put out the next month and then ingrown air which is a lot bigger this one was february and march's poems and I put it out at the end of March. And so again, we're 2018 now. And then um, Acid was, it might've just been April. Yeah, it was April. Um, and I put that one out and then DNF'd. I made a very small run of these. It's super thin. It's like four poems and I made it for a uh, zine fest. And this came out in May of 2018. This was my first like, 
uh, stab at trying to do something monthly, even though two of them were kind of big, so they were bi-monthly, if that's how you say that. And then I didn't do anything for that next year. I was focused on Weird Mask and putting Weird Mask out and um, doing the time machine and stuff like that. And I was putting together like little chapbooks of short stories, but those were so like few and far between. It was shit that had already been published, like on Amazon, like five to six years before. God, it was longer than that. It was like almost eight years before. So like I did a gonorrhea chapbook, um, free Kindle books, bacon. Did I make the anxious anxiety one? I know I ended up doing a newer version of it. I remember making the cover and I remember making the cover for killing a P3. But these are all old stories and I was just putting them together so I had product at the zine fest and shit that I was tabling at. And then I was doing other zines too. I did um, the retro video game zine. Uh, I did one issue of that. I wanted to do a bunch, but then my printer wasn't printing color, so that fucked all that up. I did the um, Cinecrypt. It was like a horror, like a classic horror zine. Um, I did the Chow Chow papers, because this was back when um, I was still really active in hosting Jalo Chow Chow. And I think there was another one I did, too. I did the Paperback Junkie one. I did two issues of that. And that was more book reviews. It was kind of like my booktube channel in a book. That's right. Then I started um, serializing all my novels as chapbooks. <sighs> so, like, doing the Black Star ones was easy. And I think I only did the first season. I don't think I got past that. Um, I did some of the Zombie Zero books. I did um, Black Market Blood Drive. I did some of the um, Hank Bradshaw books. I think I did the Shallow Jallow books too. I don't know. So I was just like making stuff and I was putting those out every month. But the thing is, is that I wasn't writing anything. That was all shit I already had written. It didn't really seem, and I had artwork for all the shit. So all I had to do was format it and print it. So that was cool. I had a back catalog of whatever. And then in the end of 2019, I put together what would be the end of everything, that paperback. You, you've seen it before. And that was me getting back into poetry after taking like a, like two years off, I guess. Or maybe a year and a half. I don't know. And at that point, my printer had died. Everything, because this is the second printer of the printers. I was just like kind of bummed out and I missed making shit. And so when we left the desert and moved back to Big Bear for that period, that would have been May of 21. May of 21 was seriously the beginning of what this is right now. I put out my, printed out my first poetry chapbook, like that was going to end up being monthly. And that was um, Pharma Phoenix Rises. And then the next month, I put out Mart. So that would be June of 21. And then during that time is when I came up with the Poetic Anarchy course. And back in the day, um, the Poetic Anarchy thing was like something we would do like once every, like or like twice a year. And um, it would be an everyday thing for like two weeks or something like that. Like Monday through Friday or Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I can't remember how we did it. And um, it was like lecture, homework, um, sharing poems. And um, we would come back and meet and just do like eight classes. Eight or ten classes. I can't remember how many it was. I did the Anxious Anxiety chapbook, which was short stories, in July. And then in August, I did One Night... And that was tricky because that was also while I was trying to do the crowdfunding campaign for Fingering the Mundane, that guy there, which is what all those early chapbooks were. Um, and then in September, I did Panic, which again was short stories. 
And this is when I realized that my poetry, like people who like me, like my poetry way better than my short stories because my poetry collections sell quickly. My short story collections do not sell quickly at all. That's when, I mean, I was already more focused on poetry, but it's a lot easier to stay focused on something when like you're getting paid to do it. If that makes sense that the whole rest of 2021, I put a chat book out every month. I ended up leaving big bear again coming to LA and then through 2022, I did a chat book every month. One month I did two mini chat books. So madness and chicken strips. That was a thing. And then um, there was another month where I did, I believe it was Preview of Dangerous Mind, which was a short story collection, and Last Chance for Gas, um, which was a poetry collection. I put those both out in the same month because um, I was expecting my short story chapbook to not sell very well, which was an astute observation. But I will say this, putting both of those out at the same time, Last Chance did not sell well out of the gate, and that has been kind of a slow mover. And I think it was just because, like, flooding the market. Like, I have trained my audience to expect things every month, and when I gave them two things, they either didn't know what to do, or they bought one instead of the other. And so all 2022... I did every month, although there were two months where I did two. And then in 23, I did every month. And then also I'm putting out the blood rag and I'm putting out um, the three issues of Bloodshed Review that I did. Between all of that and then my like depression, I had a big episode last year. Um, when December came around... I had every intention of putting a book out and I just didn't do it. And there was really no excuse to not do it other than the fact that I just didn't fucking get around to it. So I missed one month in two, over two and a half years. And so that bummed me out. And then I got January this year and then skipped February. So right now I'm recording this on March 26th. I'm putting together my March chat book and I might put together another one because right now all I'm trying to do is use up all the paper I have. Um, because I know April's coming, May's coming, half of May I'm not going to be here. And after that, I don't know if I'm ever coming back here. So I want to print out as much stuff as I can. If I could end up doing two chapbooks a month for like March and April, um, that will get me caught up. And because I'm weird like that, I might try to do that. Um, so there's that. But uh, yeah, so to answer the question, yes. Um, do you need to do it like this to do this? No, you could do digital chat books. Do you need to do it every month? You could do eBooks, you know, like you could put out fucking print on demand, big ass thick print books if you want, if you have the material to do it. Um, and you don't have to do it every month. You could do it every two months, every three months. Um, I've been talking to a bunch of people who are planning to do quarterly chat books. That's a great idea if that's how you want to do it. Um, I'm just so used to the monthly schedule from everything. Like, it's a good thing I'm not doing a weekly schedule because when I was doing Black Star, that was weekly. So, um, like, I don't know. I think we all kind of can breathe a sigh of relief with that. But anyway, so, um, yeah, what the fuck is happening out soon? And again, like when I was saying, like I wrote this, like back then looking at it and now me here now, like I remember I painted this next to my ex-girlfriend. Like she was working on something next to me and I remember painting the elephant and she's like, why did you paint the elephant? I'm like, because he never forgets. And here we are. Fucking hell, dude. Anyway, keep buying my books, guys. Etsy shop's back open, if you didn't know. There will be a new blood rag coming soon as well. 
So type hard, everybody. Keep buying that shit, and I'll talk to you all later. I just want to give quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.